Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and it is appreciated very much. Please take a moment to check out my sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, the number one currency exchange planner for pre and post RV planning, as well as all your financial planning and budgeting needs. Mention the denarian for 25% off your planner today. I also advise you get on board the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Affiliate Program before the bottom falls out of the economy. Save in real money, gold. By saving in 1 gram increments, everyone can save in a safe haven. It is not just for the rich anymore. Get involved today. Both of these links are in the description below. First article of interest for today. We finally have a new prime minister. Urgent. Baram Saleh commissioned Mohammad Tafiq Alawi as Prime Minister. The President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, officially assigns Mohammad Tafiq Alawi to take over as Prime Minister after a meeting that ended shortly before the presidential palace. Next article of interest. The White House, Trump will meet the Iraqi President at the Davos Forum. The White House announced, Monday, January 20, 2020 that U.S. President Donald Trump will meet with the presidents of Iraq, Pakistan and Switzerland during the Davos Forum. Al Jazeera intends to meet with the leaders of Iraq, Pakistan, Switzerland and the European Union during the Davos Forum, the Al Jazeera television quoted the White House as saying. On Tuesday, President of the Republic Baram Saleh will travel to Switzerland to participate in the Davos Forum. The attacks of the American army since last December 29th on the popular crowd, and the assassination of the deputy head of the crowd, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis and the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani, near Baghdad airport, have provoked a wide response from the Iraqi authorities, which criticized the behavior of the Americans. On January 5th, the Iraqi parliament adopted a resolution demanding the full withdrawal of all foreign forces from the country. But Trump refused to comply with this request, and threatened Baghdad with unprecedented sanctions. The Davos Forum is an annual meeting of representatives of global political and commercial elites. It has been taking place since the 80s. This event constitutes one of the major international events annually relative to politicians, businessmen, representatives of public organizations, academia cultural figures and media leaders who participate in the discussions of this World Economic Forum. Next article of interest. President Barzani to meet U.S. President Trump at Davos Summit. Herbal, Kurdistan Region Kurdistan Region President Nekhervan Barzani has announced he will meet U.S. President Donald Trump at the World Economic Forum, WEF, in Davos, which begins on Tuesday. Barzani announced his attendance at the forum in Davos, Switzerland in a statement released on Sunday. On the sidelines of the summit, President Nekhervan Barzani will hold meetings with U.S. President Donald Trump and the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The president is also expected to meet with a number of other world leaders, ministers and high-ranking officials. The statement said. In the meetings, the president is expected to focus on strengthening Kurdistan region's relations with the international community and to convey the policies and position of Kurdistan region on regional and world affairs. The statement continued. Barzani will be speaking at a panel at Davos titled, An Unsettled Middle East, the statement further added. Scheduled for January 21 to January 24, this year's summit is themed, Stakeholders for a Cohesive and Sustainable World. It brings the world's political leaders together with kingmakers of some of the world's biggest corporations. According to the WEF, the 2020 meeting is slated to be among the most sustainable international summits ever held, with focus on the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Sunday's announcement sets a time and place for a Barzani-Trump meeting, after the KRG leader told Al Monitor on Thursday that there was a standing invitation to meet the U.S. president with a date not yet set. U.S. and Kurdish officials have met and spoken frequently in recent weeks as Washington's tensions verged on breaking point.
following the assassination of high-profile Iranian General Qasem Soleimani on January 3. Barzani and other Kurdish leaders have insisted they do not want the Kurdistan region to become a battleground on which as Iran tensions play out. Next article of interest. Trump to headline Davos summit as Iran drops out. U.S. President Donald Trump will be the star attraction at this year's Davos Forum, which will also focus on the fallout of climate change and a more inclusive model of capitalism, organizers have said. The annual gathering of global movers and shakers in the village of Davos and the Swiss Alps will draw a total of 53 heads of government and state for four days starting on January 21. But Iranian Foreign Minister Javed Zarif, who had been due to attend, cancelled his visit amid a spike in global tensions following a U.S. drone strike that killed Revolutionary Guards Commander Qasem Soleimani. The World Economic Forum, which organizes the summit, said other participants will include Chinese Vice Premier Han Zeng, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Donald Trump will be accompanied by his daughter Ivanka and her husband and top presidential adviser Jared Kushner as well as Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin and Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. The situation in the Middle East will be a key focus for the summit. Soleiman is killing near Baghdad International Airport on January 3 has sparked fears of conflict between Iran and the U.S. Iran has also been shaken by demonstrations after admitting it, unintentionally, shot down a Ukrainian passenger jet a few hours after a retaliatory missile strike against U.S. bases in Iraq. I think we have to understand the cancellation from the Iranian Foreign Minister Javed Zarif against the backdrop of the uncertainty in the region and what is unfolding in Iran, WEF President Borj Brand said. But Brand said other key figures will be present, including Iraqi President Barim Saleh and the president of autonomous Iraqi Kurdistan, Nekirvan Barzani. Notable absentees include British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who is busy finalizing Britain's departure from the European Union at the end of this month after a drawn-out political crisis. But Prince Charles, who is trying to mend frayed relations within the royal family over his son Prince Harry and his wife Meghan's shock decision to give up on high-profile royal duties, will be there. Tishik Lee over at current finance minister Pashal Donahoe have also pulled out to concentrate on preparing for the election in February. The meeting's theme this year is, Stakeholders for a Cohesive and Sustainable World, and organizers said they would ask participants to sign up to a Davos Manifesto for a more inclusive model for capitalism. The world is in a state of emergency and the window to act is closing fast, Klaus Schwab, founder and executive chairman at the World Economic Forum, told reporters. Klaus Schwab, the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, we do not want to face continued political and economic disintegration. We do not want to reach the tipping point of irreversibility on climate change and we do not want that the next generations to inherit a world which becomes ever more hostile and ever less habitable, he said. After some criticism last year over the number of private jets ferrying political and business leaders to the summit, organizers were also keen to show off the meeting's environmental credentials. For the first time this year, solar panels and geothermal heating have been introduced in the Congress Center and there will be a temporary railway station to encourage participants to use public transport. Ahead of the meeting, the Swiss Army has begun deploying in the area around Davos under a security plan that will involve up to 5,000 soldiers. Swiss broadcaster SRF estimated the costs of policing the summit at 45 million Swiss francs. 41.7 million euros. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook. Please take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added on at no extra charge. Also, Get registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you may lose everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold.
I know what you're thinking. Gold is too expensive, right? This program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always transfer gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need. The gold will always be in your possession. Above all, the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad. The dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.